What's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. During each season, I like to do some sort of haul video of all of my current favorite things because although a lot of the pieces that I talk about in this video, I've mentioned in other videos because I love them, they're staples that I use all the time, but a lot of things change seasonally as style changes and weather changes and all of that. So I love doing a haul each season of just my favorite things. So. With these videos, um, they kind of are all across the board. I'm gonna go through my current favorite accessories, styles right now, items I'm loving, skincare, makeup, beauty, kind of covers everything. I don't want it to be too duplicative of, again, other products that I've talked about a ton in other videos, so definitely watch other content of mine to see all different things that I'm loving. But these are just kind of like my current favorite must-have items and I am going to link everything down below so anything that I have physically that's not necessarily like a certain style or concept that I'm loving things that I can actually link I will link down below so the first thing I'm loving is current like nail design trends and so right now I feel like crazy fun nail designs are so in and I love getting my nails done every three, four weeks. I'm gonna plop on the screen here all of my current favorite pictures that I have saved of nail designs and colors that I want to incorporate all through the spring. I love pops of color on your nails. I don't worry too much about my nails matching outfits and stuff like that. Like I think it's just a fun way to express yourself. Also, even if you're not into like crazy colors, you can do fun nail designs with really neutral, warm colors, beige tones, black, white, all of that. All winter, I didn't do anything bright, but now that it's spring, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little vibrant. And honestly, I'm just gonna have my fun with these nail designs over the next few months before my baby girls get here because I don't think my nails are gonna be too much of a priority all summer when they're here so next section is skincare so i did pull out all of the products that i'm going to show you now i'm someone that loves constantly trying new things so you'll always hear me on here showing you new products that i'm trying out i always only talk about products that i've tried out and i've liked for at least a, a little bit of time but i like to switch it up i think it keeps your skin fresh and there's always I don't know, new products to try. So I definitely have a few staples with skincare that I use consistently and that I will not ever turn on unless they get discontinued. Please don't happen. Every time I get up, I'm just like, oh, bump. <laughs> Anyways, so first, funny enough, is my self-tan routine I absolutely love. And I was going to do my whole self-tan routine last night so that I could show it off in this video, but... I was so tired. I couldn't do it when I got home. I was so tired. So this is just my paleness. I love incorporating an at-home tan routine into my skincare regimen because it just helps me feel good. I mean, I love having a little bit of color in my skin, especially during the winter time when you can get really pale. And it definitely affects my confidence when I'm not as tan. So if you're feeling that way, don't be discouraged or nervous about tanning at home. Like there are some great products that are really easy to use. And so I'm going to go through that now. There are a lot of different options out there. I've tried a few of them and my go-to always is Isle of Paradise. And so I do use the Isle of Paradise self-tanning drops in the shade dark. I am very pale as you can see and I use the dark option and it does not make me look orange or like too dark or unnatural. I think it's just a matter of how much you use and essentially all I do is like two times a week I just put a few drops of this. It just has like a little syringe dropper and I just add it into my moisturizer. Rub it together and put it on my face and neck and I do use the Tata Harper Hydra Tint Profound Water Lock Moisturizer. Again, I've talked about this before. It is the absolute best. It's all clean ingredients and I really like it. So these two together, really any moisturizer, just plop these drops into and it's such an easy way to just like feel good, keep a glow on throughout the week. And so pretty much through the winter, that is like the only thing that I do for self tanning. I don't really do my body because it's covered up. I live in New England. I'm very much so <laughs> wearing big cozy clothes. So I don't waste time doing like my full body self tan routine, but now that it's spring and you know, clothes get lighter. I do use the, again, same thing, Isle of Paradise 
um, dark self tanning water so not the drops for my body I use the water this comes out as a spray as you can see it has like a pump nozzle like you know your typical spray <laughs> dispenser and you can spray this on and rub it in as um, a way to tan your body. I found a little hack like two years ago now where I pour this water into a bottle like this and again I'm gonna link all this stuff. I'll link this bottle I got I think from Amazon. Um, a bottle like this that has a long form or like a long stream pump to it meaning that when I use this bottle you can hold this down and it pumps out product for a long period of time and then just rub it in in a circular motion using my tanning mitt. That's it for my body tan. I use this for like my arms, my belly, my legs. It always comes out so good and there's really no streakiness to it. Also, I do use the Tan Lux, the gradual tanning lotion. It's just like a white lotion. It doesn't come out like orange and it really just goes on like a moisturizer. Again, circular motions, if you don't do it properly, I'm sure you can streak, but it is easier with other products to see streakiness than these products, I will say. This is nice if you just want to like tan your legs, you're wearing a little dress and you just want them to be like moisturized and tan for a night out. You know, if you do this in the morning, you'll be good for that night. It's really just these two products that I use the most for my home self tanning routine. Next on a similar note is sunscreen. So springtime's coming, I definitely re-up my sunscreen usage now that I'm going to be in the sun more often. There are a lot of different like pros and cons to sunscreens. Some work really well, like if you have very fair skin, you're very prone to burning, like you probably have to compromise smell and like texture to have like really good coverage. And so for me, it's important that I wear sunscreen every day in the springtime and the summertime. So I want at least one of my sunscreen options to work well under makeup. So for my two current favorite sunscreen options, are the Cetaphil Sheer Mineral Face Liquid Sunscreen. This is SPF 50, so this is heavy duty. This is definitely my like beach sunscreen, my travel sunscreen I mentioned. We're going away um, to Florida in a few weeks, so I will definitely be bringing this. It's drugstore brand, but Cetaphil is so good for sensitive skin. I definitely have sensitive skin, especially when I'm in the sun. Like I don't burn too easily but i need a product that is going to not irritate my skin so this is just an awesome option i would say that this is not great underneath makeup it is definitely thicker so if you need a product that layers well with makeup i love the dermatology broad spectrum spf 45 this is a really good product. I like the way it smells. I like that it is more of a silky consistency when it goes on and it layers really well with makeup. Dermatology is like medical grade skincare, so I've really enjoyed my experience with all of their products. This one is a little bit more expensive, I believe, but it's worth it to protect your skin. So moving along while still staying under the skincare umbrella here, are my Coco Kind moisturizing sticks. These are always on hand for me, especially when I'm traveling or when I'm going to be in the sun. I love to keep my skin really hydrated because they're all natural. They're made with organic ingredients um, and really earthy ingredients. So I love that about Coco Kind in general. I have the My Matcha Moisture Stick made with matcha. Like I will take this and just put it under my eyes, I'll just put it on my nose, like on my eyelids, and it just has this relaxing effect on your face. It has this effect of cooling you down, giving you an instant moisture without affecting like your makeup or looking crazy, like it's just a nice light option. Also have the turmeric mask stick. So this is great as a, a skin mask, so if you're just home, throw this on all over your face for 20 minutes and then remove it eventually, and again, it just, it's all organic, it is super moisturizing and hydrating. These masks aren't like deep pore cleansing by any means, but they're just great if you need a good hydration, um, I don't know, added step in your routine. And lastly, the Maca Beat Tinted Moisture Stick. So I love this. I am a blush gal. I love adding very minimal like rosiness to my cheeks. And so this is, an option for that that you can put on when you do your makeup and also bring this out with you um, when you just want to add a little rosiness or life back to your face you just add it to your cheeks or wherever you feel looks like a natural sun-kissed spot it just gives you a little glow and it's made with maca beats so we love that 
I love the self-care moment of waking up in the morning and putting on under eye patches when I'm drinking my coffee, doing my journaling, like whatever it is. All of my under eye patches, a little hack if you don't do this, always keep them in the freezer or fridge. I will say that these under eye patches are my current favorites. It's the Florence by Mills. You can get this at Target. These don't work in my freezer. They get a little bit too cold and they get like... They turn into like little ice cubes on the top. It's hard to explain, but I keep these in the fridge and it's just as good of an experience. They're super cold when I put them on. This brand is really good. It's good bang for your buck. They're not too expensive and it comes with like 60 patches, um, which is awesome. They're little purple glittery whales that go underneath your eyes. And I already actually used these this morning, so I'm not gonna put them on right now. But I've showed myself using these so many times in previous vlog videos. They get rid of um bags under your eyes they kind of stimulate collagen production you know all that good stuff it just wakes up your face so definitely check these ones out they're my current favorite another thing that i'm loving right now are the green tea oil blotting wipes i have talked about these i think it's been a while since i've talked about these because i don't have a need for blotting wipes in the winter time usually it's really when it's warmer weather especially like as we go really into the summertime and they're meant to be used um, throughout your day when you're getting really oily or your makeup is just starting to like melt off you're getting hot you're perspiring sweating like this literally removes all face oil from your face without ruining your makeup if you don't have makeup on great it'll just literally just remove that excess um, oil from your skin again awesome option to just keep in your bag throughout the warm weather months and you will thank me later. So in the springtime, I definitely start incorporating more color into my makeup again, especially on my lips. I love a nice colored lip as the weather gets warmer. It's fun, it's flirty. My two favorite like lip glosses, lip colors um, are one, the Maybelline Lifter Gloss because it's drugstore and I love if you can easily access any sort of skincare or makeup product. I love that it has a hyaluronic acid in it because it's doing good for your lips while making your whole face pop. So this color is beautiful. It is in the shade 004 Silk. I don't know if it's fully zooming in, but it is my favorite shade of lip color. My lips stay really hydrated with this on. I hate products that dry out and make my lips look cracked. And I think because of the hyaluronic acid, it doesn't do that. And then I've talked about it before, but my go-to, the best, again, drugstore lip plumper is the Milani Lip Plumper. And my favorite shade is the sparkling pink. It's really like a nude, light touch of pink glossiness, and it plumps your lips. I love lip plumper that you can feel too. I will note some people don't like that. So if you don't like a lip plumper that you can like feel it working, this might not be for you. So I will link this down below um, and try it out if you want. And then lastly for lip care, not necessarily lip color, I am obsessed with these two um, lip, like they're technically lip masks or like lip oils, but I use them as like lip gloss throughout the day to keep my lips hydrated. And the CO Bigelow is the OG. There's nothing better than this. I'm telling you, it is a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it. I have my husband hooked on this stuff. It is the CO Bigelow, my favorite night bombs. It keeps your lips so full and looking good all day. And then I love a lip oil, adding oils into your skin routine, face, neck, body, everything. Lips, so important. So this is the Soap and Glory Ultra Smoothing Lip Oil. Again, it is a drugstore brand that I'm obsessed with. So um, definitely look out for this if you're looking for a lip oil. I will link it below. Oh my God, I'm like running all around my house right now to gather all the different items as I go through them. But next I wanted to show you my current favorite like purse trends or bag trends. So what's funny right now is that I feel like small bags are very in. So I have two of my favorite like trendy small bags that are great for a night out, brunch, bopping around, whatever. But I also think really big tote bags are in too. So kind of polar opposites but that's what makes fashion and style fun right my current favorite like go-to bag for the springtime would have to be this white bag that is really ruched around the shoulder i think this one might be sold out so i'll try to find something similar and link it down below but just a beautiful little shoulder bag that pops out an outfit i mean it doesn't look as good right now with this outfit obviously but I love a white bag in general. I think you should always have some sort of white or ivory bag in the spring summertime because 
it elevates a look and then I'm so excited about this new bag that I got for our trip to Florida and then I'm gonna be using it all spring and it is this what I like to think of as a Bottega dupe bag it's like the best one I've seen and it's like this gorgeous green color and it is like that woven material with the knot up top it holds a good amount of things inside here and it's just really good quality I think it is one of the best dupes um, out there for the style designer bag and also this I use all the time it's just the lululemon um, fanny pack really affordable such a good bag for this time of year if you're going hiking going for a walk going to a workout doing whatever going shopping like a fanny pack is really trendy and it holds all the things that you need it to so as I mentioned I feel like also big bags are in and so I got this bag a few years ago and I now feel a desire to start wearing it again because I feel like it's just in style again. It is this Tory Burch. I forget the name of it, but it's beautiful. It's like a leather with this like patched detail to it bag that holds everything. It's so good for travel, so good for shopping around if I want to just only have one big bag that holds everything. I can link this one down below if I can find it, but just in general, like wherever you... I don't know, are out and about and you see a big black tote bag, I'm telling you, you will use it all the time. I have been side sipping my liquid IV throughout this whole video. I drink these every day. I just love the way that hydration packets make me feel. They instantly hydrate me. I feel like I notice it in my skin. Just overall well-being hydration packets are so good for you. So I want to throw this into this video because it is definitely something that I'm loving right now. And my favorite flavor is the um, acai berry flavor. Honestly, all their flavors are good. I pulled out the lemon lime and Jonathan's favorite, and then they have passion fruit and strawberry. Liquid IV is definitely a current favorite in this house, and I do have a discount code. If you use code Courtney Capano, you'll get 25% off an order of Liquid IV. So I'm gonna throw that down in the description box. Um, you can use the link down there, or if you just go to their website and just put in discount code Courtney Capano. You'll get 25% off, which is a pretty good deal for something that is very worth it. So go get yourself hydrated. <laughs> so kind of entering a little bit of a miscellaneous random section of this video right now. <laughs> Similar to Liquid IV keeping you healthy and hydrated, something else that I'm loving right now is turmeric and ginger shot. I pick these up every time I go food shopping. I love the way that turmeric and ginger makes me feel. I notice a difference, especially if I take these ginger and turmeric shots in the mornings. It just kickstarts my digestion right. It eases my stomach. It's something that I have gotten into really in the last few weeks doing very often. So I wanted to throw it in here in case you're having any stomach issues or you're just trying to incorporate health into your diet whatever I would really suggest just doing a ginger shot or a turmeric shot this one figured we would take it together is the Trader Joe's mighty turmeric juice shot it has coconut water turmeric lemon juices and black pepper so I'm sure you can get shots like this at your local grocery store um, Whole Foods has them online you can probably order ginger shots or turmeric shots bottoms up baby so good. Next is oversized sunnies. I am so happy that we are moving away from the tiny little sunglass trend. So you saw these sunglasses if you watched my last video. I thrifted these in Boston last week. They are so cute. They're just this tortoise oversized sunny that I'm excited to rock on my baby moon in Florida. And just in general, I one love oversized sunglasses because they're protecting your face way more than the little ones are. And two, I feel like they just look good on everyone. Obviously, I'm sure there's some people that don't like big sunglasses on them and that's totally fine. I think there's plenty of other options, but I'm very happy. So a staple in my bag throughout the spring and summer will be tortoise sunnies. Men always the go-to black oversized sunglasses these look good with every outfit they look good with big chunky gold jewelry it looks good if i'm running to the gym just that cat eye snatched look i just think it looks good on everybody so and lastly for this little miscellaneous section you can see a little preview over here i have been seeing like head scarves and like silk scarves all over fashion week and the runways and celebrities just rocking these like silk satiny scarves in all different ways. So 
I actually got these for our honeymoon back in 2020 when we thought we were going to Italy. <laughs> didn't happen maybe I'll put some photos up of different ways I've seen like models and celebrities wearing these styled pieces I love wearing these on you know your head like a bandana style especially on the beach or by the pool I think it's really cute keeps your hair off your face I like these worn as tops I mean in my current <laughs> state of life I'm not going to be wearing a little silky satin uh, bandana as a top because things will fall out, but I think it's so cute. A nice trendy easy ad. These are cheap. You can find these really anywhere online. I'll try to link the ones that I have down below. Okay, so moving into clothing. I am loving oversized blazers. I think they are such a chef's kiss add to an outfit whether it's jeans and like a little crop top throw an oversized blazer on looks so good whether it's like a whole set some sexy high-waisted shorts as the weather gets warmer and like a long sleeve big blazer like i think there's so many ways to style these pieces i'm not going to get into all of the styling tips right now maybe that's another video so my absolute favorite blazer that i wore to my bridal shower actually i wore a full power pants suit last year but it is the Danielle Bernstein um, oversized like ivory blazer. There's definitely places to get these um, or things similar to this, but I absolutely love this one. The ruched details, it has a very like oversized boyfriend fit to it, but it's so sexy and the color is beautiful. And then also you can't go wrong with a oversized black blazer this is so cute for date night again i would wear this and i have worn this with like boyfriend jeans a little crop top and like red heels something sexy to just really add i don't know a wow moment to a look that um is very easy and then this may not be for everybody but i freaking love a red blazer and this one is way less fitted than the other it's a little bit more boxy but it looks so good with a little tight top underneath it style how you'd want but i think a power blazer in the springtime weather's getting warmer you don't need to wear a jacket over them you can really show off the look of the blazer this season so um big oversized blazers are a good call also this time of year i'm really loving prints and especially or specifically i should say like floral prints i really do love a good floral flirty flowery print so i pulled out three of my favorite like floral printed pieces right now i actually have a good amount of really beautiful dresses and tops that have um have this kind of print on them but i just figured i'd pull out three so you can just see kind of quickly what i mean just like a flirty boho like beautiful florally dress um this is really really gorgeous to me it's just sweet and i don't know makes me think of springtime and weather getting warmer like i just love 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 this is really pretty again just i don't know a sweet floral dress i'm gonna bring with me to florida and pair it with i don't even know what but it's just like that oversized shift dress type of vibe definitely more of a summer thing but in florida it's basically summer so and really just on that note of prints i'm loving plaid prints too and like gingham style i don't have anything gingham yet i want to buy this like beige and white gingham styled dress so it's on my list but i do have these plaid pants that i've worn before and I think you can wear these any season honestly but i would wear these with like some white sneakers with a little um graphic tee or some sort of crop top in the springtime because i just think a print that's bold like this and even bold like florals really dresses up an outfit and um, makes a statement you know this time of year so those are prints that i'm loving within the kind of clothing umbrella i I'm loving sets right now. I love like a coordinated two-piece look and so sets are always a go-to. And so first is my Free People set. Again, I'm going to link everything down below. I can't remember exactly the name. This color I'm obsessed with. I think it's called like Dune or Dusty Dune. I can't remember. Again, it'll be linked down below for you. Free People workout clothing in general is my favorite because it's very unique to me. You don't see their style of like earthiness on a lot of other websites or sold at a lot of other brands and i really like that it's workout clothes but it's still kind of boho this is the top kind of a crisscross back and it has like a ribbed 
material to it and the same thing with the leggings it the whole top is ribbed so it's just really flattering in my opinion and it's a seven eight length so on me it's full length i'm five three if you're taller it'll be like cropped on you the material is buttery soft it feels so good on um i really love this set and then amazon so i'm leaning away from purchasing too much on amazon um just a personal choice but I will say that they do have some good workout options that are really affordable if that's something that you're really leaning into if you need something that's more budget friendly. They have these, to me it's like a Gymshark dupe workout set. I have this in two different colors, this beautiful blue color. So I love the short sleeve on it. It has like little, I don't know, holes throughout it that aren't see-through, like they're patched up but it just allows for some um, air to come through so I think they're really good for more strenuous workouts or just to look cute bopping around matching shorts so I'm gonna try these on and see if these will still fit me and maybe wear them to do workouts down in Florida I don't know and I have this in pink also but the top is a tank top and the pink one I can't find it right now so I'm not gonna show you but you get the gist and then also I love H&M for a good like ribbed or sweater set so i have worn these sets in other videos if you've seen them they have a lot of three-piece matching sets that have like a crop top a cardigan sweater and then high-waisted like ribbed or sweater pants and i just think it's such a cute look it's nice and light so i mean i've worn these sets through the winter but definitely in the spring and even as the weather gets warmer this is the crop top it's awesome like sweater material and this is the cardigan that it comes with. And it also comes with matching pants. Um, they're folded in my drawer, but it's literally just high-waisted matching pants that um, just pair perfectly with the whole set. Same thing, ribbed material like crop top. This sweater is so cute. Um, it's a nice oversized look. It's a little bit less fitted than the beige colored one. It looks really good with jeans too. Um, and again, just matching sweatpants with it also i am currently wearing these skims like cozy set skims has awesome um pieces i will say it's definitely more expensive and i only have one set from skims i wanted to just treat myself because i wanted to be cozy through the winter time with being pregnant but i won't buy like a ton of of stuff from skims because it's a little it's a little overpriced i think but worth it because i'm really cozy so do with that what you want the last kind of concept underneath clothing it's not necessarily a piece that i'm going to show you is the idea of wearing white before memorial day i think that growing up i always believed like you couldn't wear any white pieces until memorial day that whole rule but now absolutely not like i just showed that white ivory blazer whip that thing out in the spring before the end of May. Definitely something like an oversized white or ivory blazer is a good idea. White like oversized shorts um, with like a cropped cream or beige sweater and like booties. Like I love that look. And again, white shorts, you can absolutely wear them as long as you're not wearing like a tiny tank top and white shorts when it's still cold out. Like that's just weird. You wouldn't do that anyway. But if you wear like appropriate clothing for the season you can definitely wear white and again on like designer websites instagram you see celebrities models whatever being fitted in white clothing literally in the winter time too so the rule is so outdated and i love white this time of year the last section of this video is pops of color so i love as i mentioned kind of kicking this off with the nails right I love incorporating color in ways that's not too much, it's not too overwhelming or like not fashionable. So I pulled out some of my favorite pieces or like ways to add color into your wardrobe. Even if you're super neutral, there are ways to just add minimal color to just doll up an outfit. If you are someone that is more like you're not gonna go on the vibrant side, I think adding like a dusty pink to your shoes is a good idea. Like these flats from Sam Edelman, I'm obsessed with. They are so cute. They're like a suede material with this gorgeous bow detail on the front. They're a little bit older, so sorry if I might need to do some spring cleaning on the insides of these, but <laughs> I think adding a pop of color, especially with shoes, is such a good idea. I have these sandals also from Gap. Um, definitely brighter, but again, even if you're someone that is 
more neutral like a whole beige outfit beige and white set jeans with a little black top like a pop of color like this is still tasteful in such a good way to um, express yourself like using color that's not like overwhelming and then also I pulled out the bag again I already talked about this but I would wear this with a full a little black dress and just have my green bag on to add a pop of color um, that you know I don't know puts a smile on my face <laughs> I pulled this out from anthropology it's just like a chunky bracelet I wear this when I go to like weddings in the spring or summertime I wore this throughout our honeymoon in Greece I think like a statement bracelet that adds color is always a good idea. And then lastly, to show you just some other little pieces. So this isn't necessarily a um, vibrant color, but I love chunky rings that have um, color to them that aren't just gold or silver. So I have this emerald green colored ring from Ana Luisa that I'm obsessed with and I wear when I want to spruce up a look. Gold and pink earrings again in the springtime these for easter i have weddings in the spring like these are going to be worn very often and then i also have these like blue little hooped earrings that you can't really see too much i think color um is so nice <laughs> in the springtime i keep saying that but it's a favorite of mine right now and I'm really excited to start really wearing color again. So that's it for this video. I love watching other haul videos of people that show off different things they're loving because it inspires me to try out new things or to say, wow, yeah, I love that too. Good to know that I'm not the only one. So again, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. If you like this, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified every time I post new content. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. I dare you to be wilder. I don't fit into your parts. Beauty queens with final flowers.